two add-ons that can mm. bundle with render but not are not enabled are the uh, mesh and curve extras so they're both really good fun to work with and can have some big productivity improvements enable them both in the edit properties add-ons uh, then add a, a mesh for the um, not add-on to work with add an icosphere scale it down in edit mode and then go back to object mode and with the icosphere selected click on add curve knots and then choose the tilting knot and then in the um, adjust last action properties um, you can change the size of the bevel and the offset as it goes over the different parts of the mesh We're going to um, see how EV can also be used to produce good reflections. And we, in the first chapter, we used cycles because cycles does all the ray tracing calculation for you. But EV has some clever ways to simulate that. So we add a plane underneath the knot that you can use to get some reflections, make it dark and shiny. And then in the world properties, add an environment texture. I just chose the standard indoor one that comes with Blender that we used earlier. And then we're going to in the use for, for the material for the knot, just append the gold material that you used in the earlier chapter. And we're going to modify it slightly to use the ambient occlusion property. So in the render properties tab, you can enable ambient occlusion and screen reflections. And um, you can enable bloom, all of which will add realism to the scene. So you can see you're getting some reflections from the from the base. So open the shader editor and then with the gold material, add a node for the ambient occlusion property. Ambient occlusion is how much of the sky is visible from any point on the surface. So we'll add a node for that and then we'll feed that through a colour ramp to produce either a dirtier colour where there's high ambient occlusion or a, a pure gold colour where, where the material is exposed. And we'll also use that same factor to change the roughness so it materially slightly rougher down in the crannies compared with the exposed surfaces. And finally, you can um, tweak the colours and the amounts of each of the uh, 
um, color ramps to get the effect that, that you like.